Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How's everybody? How y'all doing this morning? Good morning. This is Self Care Saturday. I am Shawana Kennedy. Can you get that water bottle for me? Good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing? Happy Love Weekend. Happy Love Weekend. Happy Love Weekend. Hey, 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 hey. This playing a little Vaughn Phoenix in the back. Love is all around. How y'all doing? Take a look. Good morning, good morning. Self-Care Saturday. Remember, Self-Care Saturday is all about you. It is not selfish, it is selfless. We need to take care of ourselves in order for us to better care for others. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. Hit that share button, like, love, 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 love. How y'all doing? Hey there. I see you. I see you, Kim. I see Camille, Gavin. I see LeBron jumped on. Thank you. How's everybody? Hey there. Happy Saturday. Self-care Saturday. What's up? What's up? What's up? How was your week? Self-care Saturday. This is about you. This is about you. I'm here just reminding you to put yourself back at the top of the list of your life. Because you got stuff you got to do. Today we just simply talking about love. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I see Shania jumped on. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Happy Saturday. How was your week? How was your week? What did we do? What did we do? I feel like Elvis a little bit with this sideburn. What's up? How y'all doing? I am super excited to be here with you. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the love. How y'all doing? I actually got, you know, I went and found a, yes, self-care setting. Got my red pom-pom for the mark love. Good morning, Miss Chris. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. How y'all doing? This is love weekend. This is love weekend. What you doing? Are you loving yourself? This is self-care Saturday. It's all about love. It's all about loving you. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to jump in. We're going to jump in. Again, I am Shawana Kennedy, and I am your self-first advocate. Hey there, Althena. I look at this. We got some West Coast on the line. Arizona is already in the house. Let me know where you from. I see some Texas and jumped in. Hey there. I see you, sir. Hey there, Aries. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Self Care Saturday. For those who don't know, you might have just been scrolling. I am Shawana Kennedy. I am your self-first advocate. I am just reminding you to put yourself back on the to-do list of your own life because it is about you. You do matter. You do matter. You do matter. Welcome, Cece. I see you. That's right. Hit that share button. I see those likes, that love. I appreciate you guys for just giving me a few minutes of your time today. I just want to um, let you know that I love you, that I love you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And if anybody haven't told you lately, you are loved. You are needed. You are necessary. And that is why we pause for the cause. Hey there, April. I see you. Thank you for jumping on. We need to be better about loving ourselves, don't we? Yeah, all of us, even the person who actually thinks that they're really doing a pretty good job. If we really look at what we're doing, it's probably something else that we can probably do to love ourselves a little more. Um, and it's not about being selfish. It's not about taking anything else away from um, your family and the ones that actually need you. It is necessary so that you can be of better use and of service to those, uh, whether it's in your place of employment, the ones that you, you know, that really need you, your children, your spouse, your companion, your, your, you, you need you, you need you. Yes, you do. Yeah, you need you, and we need you at your best. Good morning, Anita. I love you. I see you. I see you. I see you. I see all my buddies is jumping on. Make sure you guys hit that share button. Hit that share button. Just a couple things um, for me, and it should be for you. We know that uh, your love and the way that you love on yourself, especially in this season of your life, should be non-negotiable. Good morning, Lady Lagan. 
Your love should be non-negotiable. We should not negotiate when it comes to how we love ourselves because we teach people how to treat us and that is in the way that we even show how we love ourselves. Yeah, Lakeisha, good morning, Lady Davis. Thank you for jumping on. Yes, 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 yes. You guys have to just, you know, be mindful because love for yourself should be non-negotiable because, you know, now we could definitely, we could definitely for the ones of us who are on here who are believers, yes, who are believers, we know I could go to Calvary all day long, but not even thinking, you know, not even without excluding Calvary. It is about you loving you because love should be non-negotiable. Good morning, Regina. Good morning, Regina. Die. Hey, Lady Die. Uh, it should be non-negotiable. We we are non-negotiable when it comes to so many things. I, I know we got some, some managers on here. We have some entrepreneurs. We have some business owners. Good morning, Lisa. And I see, I see only, I see Lady Evans is on the line. It should be non-negotiable. You, you are, you can be really shrewd when it comes to your business and you really can negotiate a deal. Where does that fall in the way that you love yourself? Some of you are the best negotiators when it comes to sales and negotiating for others and for other companies. How are you loving yourself? How are you, where's the non-negotiable when it comes to the love that you have for yourself? I see you guys, again, those who are jumping on and don't know, in case you're just scrolling by. I am Shawana Kennedy, your self-first advocate. I am here for you, reminding you to put yourself back at the top of the to-do list of your life. Put you back on the to-do list. Today we are talking about love. Love, 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 love is all around. And I want to make sure that you are loving you. You are loving you. That you know when you love yourself, it's showing everything that you do. It is not about being conceited. It is not about being selfish. It is selfless, and it really does bless everyone around you. Yeah, it does. Love. Love should be non-negotiable. What, what business deal are you working on? What are you working on that you, I mean, you got it. You got it from A to Z. You could sell, you could sell a fish some water. How about that? How about that? But when it comes to your love, that's where you tend to, to hold back, to pull back, because what is not going on that you're not loving yourself, and that's not on that non-negotiable list. Yeah, yeah. Love should be non-negotiable in how you self-love for yourself. Yeah, really think about it. How are you loving you? How are you loving you? How are you loving you? It should be, non, it should be non-negotiable. It should... It, it's not, no. What is it? What is it? When I, when I was looking at it, what is it? Firmly establishing and cannot be adjusted. Firmly establishing and cannot be adjusted. That's a non-negotiable. The way you love yourself properly should be a non-negotiable. That way anybody, for the single ladies that's on here, the way you love yourself should be non-negotiable that at any gentleman, any suitor that wants to approach you and step, step to you, they should already know. I, they have to come seriously correct because you have truly non-negotiables and it has nothing to do with the, the material things. It's the way that you love yourself that they just they are they automatically know. They can't just step to you because that's a non-negotiable. It what is it? Firmly established in something that you it's not adjustable. It's it it don't adjust. We give on so many things, but the way we love ourselves, that should not be one of the things. Because it's show in every area of your life. You know that. It, it shows up when we don't love ourselves. It should be a non-negotiable. That's right. Yeah, get up. You got, you got to get up. You got to get up and be about it in a way that you love yourself. Show up for you and love yourself. Make that a non-negotiable. Actually, make that one of your affirmations. You know, I'm all about the affirmation and the power of affirmation. Good morning, Devin. I see you jumping in. Thank you guys for jumping in. And just make sure you hit that share. I like that love and all those hearts. But love should be non-negotiable. It should be one of those things on that list that you say, this one right here, this is a top five because how I love me is important to me. We teach people all day long how to treat us. Yeah, how, how to treat us in, in the way that they should work. Thank you for that love. Why are we negotiating with how we love? You are worth it. You are more than that. 
Don't settle for less. You shouldn't settle for less. That is a non-negotiable. We know when Christ, when he came and what he did for us, when he gave, he gave his very best. He did not negotiate. He, I don't recall him having a conversation to say, well, why do I have to die for them? Why, why, why do I have to die? He did not negotiate because of the love that he had for us. So why do we negotiate with the love and how we allow people to treat us? How we allow people to what they so called, this is how I love you. That even we're not even going to touch on verbal and physical abuse. You know, because that's a whole nother, uh, that's a whole nother life for a whole nother day. But when you are, when you're not, when you're allowing, when you're negotiating in your love, you don't really, I don't even want to say that it's not that you don't even understand your worth. I think you, it's a choice for, for a lot of us. It's a choice. You're choosing to accept something that is not the way it was supposed to be by design. That, that's not, that is not how it's supposed to be by design. Hey there, I see you, Miss Larita. I see you, Miss Rhonda. I'm praying for you, darling. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you, your father. Yes, I am. It should be not, it should be non-negotiable. That's a non-negotiable. We, we know when, when Christ came and he died, he died. He, what, why? Because he loved us so much. So then why do we do less for ourselves when we were created by love, in love, for love? We were created by love, with love, in love, for us to love. And how can the world know if we're not showing how we lo should love ourselves? This is Self-Care Saturday. Remember, this is about you. This is about you. This is about you. It has nothing to do with me. I am just the spokesperson on this morning that is, that is just reminding you of what you should be doing for you. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing for yourself? To show yourself that you love you. I love me and I'm trying to be better more and more. Whether that if that's in what the things that we eat, the things that we the things that we drink. How are you loving you? You know at a certain age, there's certain things that we can't even eat. You have to love your body to say, Oh, I love you. I can't have you cheese. I'm talking to myself on that one. Yeah. I'm talking to myself on that one. Yeah. Because I love some cheese, y'all. I love it. We're not even going to talk about chocolate cake. Come on here. This is this Valentine weekend, right? Somebody going to be getting a slice of some cheesecake or something. Certain things should be non-negotiable. You cannot negotiate the love that you have for yourself. It is what? It's firmly established. It is fixed. It is not adjustable. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you 100. Love you and come correct for yourself. That's why y'all keep getting people coming at you and those crazy phone calls, those crazy, hey, all this social media stuff, those crazy inboxes. Because you are showing something. You're, 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 you're reflecting something that people feel that it's okay to love you or half love you the way that they do. You're nobody's half nothing. You're no second nothing. You're not. It's not negotiable. Oh, you gotta put you gotta put the chocolate cake up there. You you really do, LeBron. You do. Yeah, yeah. The chocolate cake that that and I have to. I'm one of those people. If I know that it is not good for me, I don't want it anywhere around me. I don't want it around me. If I know that I'm saying, you know what, this month we're not doing the chocolate cake. Don't buy a chocolate cake. I don't want to see a chocolate cake. I don't even like window shopping because I love clothes, y'all. Why would I do that to myself? I can't do that to myself. I love me enough to say, why? Because psychologically, it's going to mess with me. That's messing with my love, y'all. Yeah, don't negotiate. And then not only don't negotiate, but loving yourself is necessary. It's necessary that you know how to love you. This is about self-care and you loving you. For those who don't know it, again, I am Shawana Kennedy. I am here to remind you to put yourself back at the top of the list of your life so that you can better love yourself and love the ones around you. They need you. They need you. They need you. What They need what you have. It is necessary. It is so necessary for us to know how. It is so necessary for us to know how to love ourselves. It is so necessary. People are counting, waiting, and needing you. Yeah, crazy, bold. Yeah, yeah. Love, love on you. Love on you. Love you today. You know what? Because I, you know, I do. I pray for people who, um, who really 
long for even a companion. But you have to first know yourself before you can bring anybody else in to who you are. You got to know how to love yourself so they'll even know how to properly love you. Because as you self-discover, you'll find out what you think you really need out of that individual. You don't need that. Stop settling. It is necessary that you don't negotiate with certain things when it comes to loving you. Yeah, I see you guys. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Thank you, Harris, for jumping in here. I see you guys. Hit that button. Share this with somebody. Who needs to know that they got to know how to love themselves today? It is. It's needed. It's necessary. Don't let that be a negotiable. Let it be non-negotiable in how you show the world how you love yourself. We teach people how to treat us. Teach them how to love you. Especially those who are coming your circle. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. So people who got caregivers and, 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 and mothers on here, click the button. Take care of you. People who are moms on here, click the button. For those who don't know and those who actually knew know me, yes, I am married. I thank God. I thank God for my husband. But, you know, I know what it feels like to be a single mother. I was single mother through, through, through all, through my whole, for my whole, I was never not by myself, y'all. I always had a child. I had my youngest child before I was even 20 years old. So I've always had to take care of somebody else. So in that taking care of other people, we forget that we need to be taken care of, that we need to know how to love us. I've been a mommy since before I was 20. I love my baby. And because of the things that I didn't receive, I poured all that love into my baby girl. And show up today because she's a beautiful young lady. And she is thriving and doing well. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I don't want to get ugly on here about my kids because you know how we are. And that, that's one thing, too. That, that, it was meant for me to say that because it triggered a memory. I know and I got a couple of my buddies on here. They'll tell you in a heartbeat what they'll say. Don't mess with my man. Don't mess with my money. And don't mess with my kids. That's on y'all non-negotiable. Why not put ad, don't mess with my man, my money, my kids, and how you love me on there? Because how you love me is important. And how you love you should be at the top of that list. So that you can love your man. So that you can properly love your kids. Yeah. Yeah. We, we have to know how to love ourselves so that we can love and show the love of Christ to the world. Because that is how he see, that is, that's how they see Christ through us. How are we loving ourselves today? How are we loving ourselves today? Yeah. Because I sure had some girlfriend flashbacks. Because they would be like, man, don't, don't, don't. You know, I, I love my man. I love my money. And y'all know I love my kids. Don't mess with my man, my money, and my kids. But the way you allow people to love you need to be at the top of that list. It needs to be a non-negotiable. And it's, ne it's necessary in this season of your life so that you can show up for you. So that the world around you that needs you to impact it, need what you have to give, it will show up. Because when we love and love the things that we're called to do, that we're called to do, y'all, we are called to do something. When God, God so loved the world that he gave his son, that was, love, that was the greatest gift. So if anybody feeling like this weekend, oh my God, I ain't got no boo to hug up on. Oh my God, I ain't got no candy. Ain't nobody getting no flowers. Get your own Reese cup. Buy your own Snicker. You don't need you, you don't need all that anyway. We don't need that. Those are just symbols. How are you loving you? How are you loving you to this show the world that they'll automatically know? I can't I can't I can't I can't I can't step to Cody like that. I see the love of Christ that, 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 that just oozes out of her. I got to come correct when I come to a woman like that. I can't do that. Yeah, they have to automatically know. Matter of fact, they're going to have to seek his face on how to love you. How are you loving you so that you don't get that stuff even coming to you? So that you don't, you can stop being a magnet for what you're saying. Why, why, why am I getting all these kind of guys? 
No, why, why, guys on here, why, why are these kind of chicks always drawn to me? You more than muscles. Don't they, now they nice now. Hey, 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 hey. LeBron already know. I love me some Denzel Washington. Hashtag Denzel Washington somebody. But no, it's more than the, it's more than the muscles. It's, it's more than the cute face because what hap what happens? Look at that. I'll be 50 this year, y'all. Look. I'm crazy, but I love me. And once you start loving yourself, you will actually find the unique things and how you were even created in love. That that's how he 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 marked you. The the women on here that I love with those dimples, my God, he said, "Oh, I just love her." Yeah, that pretty wide smile. I used to. Kind of be hesitant about even the, the color of lipstick that I would wear because it would draw attention to the way I was designing how God loved me. So you got to love yourself. And that means from head to toe. And if it's something about you that you don't love, tap into that. Make that phone call. Get the help that you need. Love yourself enough to make the call. Love yourself enough to reach out to that person to make the call to stop doing the things that you're doing to harm your body. Stop doing the things that you should do to that that that's that's confusing your mind. That is a setup so that you can't show up and be what you're called to be in your life. Love you. It should be non-negotiable. It is necessary so that the world will notice what you have been called to do. Hey there, Lee, I see you. Y'all better love yourself today. Buy your own flower. You don't need a whole dozen. They cost too much anyway. I love roses. I love ro I love them. I love them. They're so beautiful. They make me smile. Flowers make me smile. But I'm bigger than a flower. I'm the flower. Bloom. You bloom. You be the flower. You become the flower. You become the flower and it'll show to those around you. They'll be like, why is she speaking like that? What? Oh my God, she 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 looks so different. It's something about her. It's some it's some things going on. Yeah, because I'm actually loving myself. And for my ladies on here, and even guys, I you know what? One thing I really do that kind of annoy me. I really what really annoy me is when you you run into people and they say, "Oh, who you looking good today for?" Um, me. That is a P, I hate, that, that just, uh, that do something to me. I hate when people be like, oh, you, you didn't change your hair. What, what, that's a new outfit. Who, 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 who you trying to look good for? Uh, me. Yeah, because I have to look at me first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloom, bloom where you are. Yeah, and where you're planted. You have to show up so then you can be picked up and move somewhere else. You're not even... Some people are like, why? Why are certain things? Because you need to bloom where you are. The people around you, you need to fulfill that assignment so that you can move on to something that is bigger and greater. Yeah. Show up for you. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. I'm here to remind you to put yourself back on the top of the to-do list of your life. Your life. This is about you. This is about you. This is about you. This is Self-Care Saturday. I am Shawana Kennedy. I'm here just to simply remind you, love yourself. It should be a non-negotiable. It should be a non-negotiable. It is necessary, and the world will notice how you're loving yourself. It's that simple. If you want to know what your takeaway is, non-negotiable, necessary, and the world will notice what you're doing and how you're loving yourself that has nothing to do with the man or woman that God has put here. We thank God for the loved ones and, and the husbands, the wives, the boos, the bays that, you know, help us to become our better self. But you have to be whole when you think about love and anybody that might be getting ready to get engaged this weekend. Anybody that's about to accept that ring this weekend. You don't need nobody to complete you. You need to be complete and whole in yourself because it should be two whole people coming together. You need to be whole already coming together. Yeah. You're not a half and he a half and y'all come together and y'all make a whole. 
No, you got to be whole and know who you are. Know who you are. Love yourself enough to be to not to negotiate with your love and how you love yourself. You're better than that. You were created better than that. He took enough time to say, you know what? I'm, I'm going to make him 6'2". I'm going to make him wear a size 12, 13 shoe. <laughs> Non-negotiable. He did that. What? Shoot. God did that because he knew what we're going to need. He knew to make some of us have that, nat that, that natural hair. Some of us to have that curly hair. Some of us to have that long, straight, bone hair. Yeah, he knew to make how to make some of us, you know, with a little bit of light skin. Light skin is going to always be in as long as I'm living. <laughs> Hey, and if you on here, you know, and a lot of us, you know, we got a little fluff. You better love that fluff that you know. See, your body, your body hear what you say to it. And if you keep saying, I ain't going to never lose weight, you ain't going to never lose weight. Love yourself enough to say, you know what? Today, I am going to be better about my choices because it's all a choice. And you have to choose to not negotiate with what you do for yourself. Yeah. It is. Hit the share button. Somebody needs to know that they're loved today. I am Shawana Kennedy, your self-first advocate, reminding you to keep yourself on the list of your life. You are important. I cheer for you. I cheer for you. I cheer for you. We are on here. I know I saw Lady Lagan. We got winners on here, man. What are you not doing because you're not loving yourself enough? What is the, what is the world need that is waiting on you? And because you're not loving yourself enough, that you're holding up what somebody else needs. Yeah. You think about that? You think about that? Yeah. Yeah. Celebrate. Yeah. Everything about you. You have to celebrate everything about yourself. Hey there, Vico. And I saw Dr. Point on here too. You got to love you. This is so important. For God to love the world that he gave his son. He gave his son so that we could be representatives. And the best way we show up is in what? Except for what? The love you show one another. And how can we show the world how to love us if we don't know how to love ourselves? Love you. That's your tip for the day. Non-negotiable. It's a non-negotiable. It's a non-negotiable. That means you firmly establish that thing. You don't adjust. You don't adjust how you love you. Non-negotiable. It's a non-negotiable. It is necessary that you properly begin to love yourself so that those, of, those around you, you teach people how to love you. You do. And it is more than material things. Sure. Who don't want a nice house? Who don't want a nice car? Who don't want a big fat bank account? But the reason why some of us, you know, for those, some of us that are on here and may listen in later for my replay people, I thank y'all for listening at this. Love yourself. It's showing every area. Write it. Make it plain. Show up. Show up. Show up for you. Show up for you. Love yourself today. Love yourself. I see you, Leslie. I see you, Sheila. Love yourself. Love yourself. I'm Shawana Kennedy, your self-first advocate. I'm just here just to remind you to love yourself today. It should be non-negotiable. Don't negotiate with how you love yourself. I said a little earlier. You know, we, we don't negotiate in business. I got some shrewd business men and women on this live today, y'all. They will sell you your own stuff. That's how they negotiate. But when it comes to love, it's something about that. When it comes to love, whoo, that's why that's why that thing is big, it's heavy. This is Valentine weekend. This is Valentine weekend. Get your buy your own meal. Treat your own self. Play your own music. Light your own candle. What you think about, you bring about. What you think about, you bring about. You draw it to you. Be a magnet. And you'll be wondering why you're attracting so many things. Because there is energy. There is, there is energy. And what you bring yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Game, yes, game changers do. Game changers love themselves. They know how to love themselves better every day. And then they begin to write the thing and even research and say, you know what? And start really be honest and say, what am I not doing?
to properly love myself. I see you, Mr. Scott. What are you not doing to love yourself? How are you not showing up for you? Come on, y'all. It's Valentine weekend. What's up? I love you. I love you enough to pause for the cause to say, in this season, there is so much greater. There is so much greater. There is so much greater. We can have heaven on earth. Yes, we can. 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 I love me. I love me. When you love yourself, it'll show. Don't negotiate. It's necessary. It will be noticeable. The ones around you will say it. And you'll just smile to yourself because they'll think it's because you're in love. And you matter of fact, you are. I'm in love with me. And it's not conceited. It's convinced about what he has created. About what the creator has created. And I'm convinced that I am here for a purpose, for a reason, with a cause, despite the things that have happened to me, despite the molestation, despite the bad relationships, mm -hmm. despite the failed things that, you, that I've tried, but nothing beats a fail but a try. You have to love yourself to try again. What business are you not doing because you don't love yourself enough or feel yourself worthy enough? Y'all better go get it. Go get it. Love yourself enough to even try. Try. Walk, walk, walk an extra block. Find, then you'll wind up, you'll see here, see yourself around the corner. You'll find yourself around the corner. Love yourself enough to just have one less piece of chicken. Just one. Just one. I, I didn't say stop eating chicken. I'm not trying to make y'all vegans. Love yourself enough to drink an extra glass of water. Love yourself enough to just speak it out loud and say, I love me. Love yourself enough. Love yourself enough. Y'all getting me, I'm sweating over here. This little bang is in my, this little bang, this little bang. Y'all got me hot over here. That means my heart is pumping because I love y'all and I'm serious about this. For so many years, I did not. You know how you actually, actually, I could be honest. For a lot of years, I actually thought that I really did love me. And did you know once you actually, uh, what did it say? When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And when I began to look into myself deeper and begin to, uh, what I didn't realize is that I was beginning to even love me even more then it showed me how I really wasn't even loving myself the way I even thought I was. How are you loving you today? How are you loving you today? When you love yourself, it's showing every area of your life. It show the people around you even how to love you. Matter of fact, they're going to be asking people about you because they're not even going to know how to step to you because of the way you, the way you love yourself. Love yourself enough. Don't wait for somebody to bring something to the table. What do you bring to the table? Because you've loved yourself enough to take care of your business. Yeah. Special time with you. That's right. Love yourself. It'll show. It'll be noticeable. It's necessary. It's a non-negotiable. Yeah. I love y'all. Shoot, our time is just about up. We need some music to get out of here. What? This is Self Care Saturday, guys. I am Shawana Kennedy. It is about you. 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 Show up for you. Love yourself. Put yourself back on the top of the to-do list of your life. It is necessary. It is necessary. Share this with someone today. Leave me a comment. I need to know that you guys are even on here with me. How do I know? I need to know. Give me some love. Hit that heart button. Share that with somebody. I do. I, 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 need, I told you guys. I do. I need you. And I know that the things that I do, it, it makes me better so that I can show up for you. Yeah. I, that's right. Leslie, play your own music. I love me some jazz. I sing gospel, but I love jazz. Light your own candle today. Buy your own perfume, ladies. Buy your own ring. Be committed to you. Be committed to you. 
by your own ring today. Matter of fact, if the people on here might be listening, you was hoping that you get that engagement, you better get it, get proposed to yourself. Propose that you're going to love yourself more. How about that? <laughs> Propose that you're going to love yourself more. It's not negotiable. It's not negotiable. What we got? We got some music. We about to go. I cheer for you. I celebrate you. Put yourself back on the top of the to-do list of your life. I am Shawana Kennedy, your self-first advocate, reminding yourself that you are important, you are worth it, you are needed, you are necessary. Make loving yourself non-negotiable. It is necessary. It will be noticeable to those around you and those that love you. Love yourself. You need it. You mean more. You mean more. Yes. I love me some me. That's right. And when you get that revelation and that light bulb go off, that it begins with you, it starts with you. Remember, it's about you. It's about you. It's about you. It's about you and how you love you. You even have a new twist and a new step, a new pep in your step. Hey, 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 hey. Love is all around. I love me. Shawana Kennedy, your self-first advocate, reminding you to put yourself back on the top of the duties of your life so you can show up in the things that are called for you and your life. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the loves, the hearts, for all the shares. I love you guys. I love you. Remember, Self-Care Saturday is about you. Love yourself. Make it non-negotiable. It is necessary and it will be noticeable. Show up for you. Show up for you. Love 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 you. Pom pom. Hashtag pom pom. I normally I type it myself, but somebody type hashtag pom pom on there for me. Y'all know I can't type right now. Self care, y'all. It's about y'all. Self first. Self first. You matter. You count. Yeah. The world needs what you got. What you got. What you got. What you got. Make part of that resolution about loving yourself more. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Make part of that resolution is that you're going to love yourself more and more. Write it. Put it on a post-it. Put it on the mirror and say, I'm going to love myself a little bit more today. Stop settling for less in your life. You're worth it. Self-care Saturday. Y'all enjoy y'all weekend, all right? I'll see you next time.